How nice is it to get into a car that's been locked up for a while and just have it smell just, just normal, just nice, just like a clean car? Well, this is something that not everyone may notice, but I sure do since I cured the moldy, damp smell that was in my car for ages. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how I did that if you've got a similar problem yourself. So firstly, I'm gonna show you what I mean. Obviously, I can't show you the smell in the car, and it's not too bad at the moment, like frequent use is fine, but when it's shut up for a while, and when it rains on the car, the water gets in, and this is the best proof I have. So, there you go, look at that. You'll see that there is actually dampness under the rubber mats, like that, that is in the carpet. And you know, you can see there's a little bit of discoloring there, and um, yeah, that's all quite damp, and that happens under both the driver's and passenger side. Um, car mats so that's some proof that the water is actually somehow getting into the carpet there now how I believe this is happening and you know from the research I've done and people I've talked to with a similar model this is the culprit here you can see quite obviously that there's some rust bubbles up the top here and that would indicate that perhaps there's water getting in under the seal on top of the windscreen here now the stories I have heard is that the water actually gets in here and runs down this piece here, past what a lot of people call the Jesus handle. And um, that'll run down past your firewall and end up under your mat. So we are going to, tomorrow, replace this windscreen in at my local mechanic. Hopefully seal some of that up and deal with some of the rust. And we will see what the improvement is. After the mechanics at my local shop removed the old windscreen, which was an incredible pain to get off, they prepared the new one by putting a new seal on top. A zinc primer was then applied around the windscreen frame. This would prevent or at least slow down the rusting process in the future. After this was done, a sealing glue was strung all around the windscreen frame and then the new windscreen was placed on the car. So that was stage one of how I solved the leaking problem on my 105 series Land Cruiser. And you can see here that there is uh, quite a bigger, thicker seal on the top of the windscreen. There's a lot of that sealant glue underneath. Yeah, there's still a bit of rust that I could go and deal with, but there is quite a big seal here that's gonna stop any leaking uh, on the top there, and I shouldn't have to worry about any dampness again. So now that my windscreen wasn't leaking anymore, I still had to go remove the smell from my car, because yeah, there was no more water leaking down the pillars, but it still stank. Some of you may remember in one of my earlier videos, I replaced all of the carpet in my Land Cruiser. And this is exactly why. It smelled awful. Because of that moisture seeping up through, it was just disgusting and mouldy. And it was well and truly time for some fresh carpet. So with all the seats out, it's pretty obvious to see, uh, you know, kind of why I'm looking at replacing this carpet. So you can see the discolour and dampness um, in the driver's side already. And that's, you know, everything has had rubber mats on it uh, at all times. So you can see that the water's kind of seeped up from underneath there. There's a little bit of discoloring up the front there where there's been water. Uh, it's quite dirty. You can see the, there was a welding job in here done on the wrong setting at one point. Uh, the back isn't too bad, but you know, it's old carpet, it's stock. It's done 600 plus thousand Ks. So, you know, it's about time for a replace, I reckon anyway. So yeah, and you can see here, there's, you know, a bit of damp and dirt that has been very hard to get out, even with some nice upholstery cleaners. So yeah, definitely time to replace this, I reckon. So after taking the carpet out, you can pretty obviously see where that damp and moldy smell was coming from. There's no glue or tar here. That is actually just damp underlay that has 
stuck to, yeah, that's disgusting, that is stuck to the ground because it's so wet. And I'm pretty sure we've actually, yeah, we've actually got some mold here. Uh, you can see the little spores growing on the, on the um, body there. So yeah, this will hopefully fix our damp smell. And with our new windscreen in, we will not have to worry about it leaking back into the firewall. And I'll make sure that as I go along, I fill all these holes with roof and gutter or something like that, that I'm not gonna use or that are open already um, and make sure that we don't get any water seeping back into the envelope. And now a few months later, we can go and do that same test by pulling the mat out. And look at that, that is dry as a bone. The carpet is still fresh, it smells good, it's dry. And there is no smell in my car anymore. It's like brand new. So there you go guys. I'm sure this is something that most people just don't even notice or just take for granted. But after a long time of getting in my car and having it smell just damp and disgusting after being shut up, I sure appreciate it every time I get into my car. This is quite a common problem on the 100 series uh, and the 105s. So I thought I'd share this video with you today uh, in case you were having the same problem. So I hope it helped. If it did, please let me know in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.